I'm gone. Four shots of Patron, got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly out, leave me alone. You need to mind your business. Man, what's going on, man? It's your boy T, man. Right back at it, right back for some more hip hop battle rap. Let's go, man. So, we got Drake dropping another diss track. This time, the diss track, uh, which was called Heart Six Part Heart, Heart Part Six. So, Drake pretty much in his bag. He uh saying that a lot of the information Keeping was your false. fans happy by finally dropping some music. Because he said that his fans probably like, damn, it took Drake to beef with you for you to actually start rapping and making music. Which was a valid point because I always be wondering, like, where Kendrick at? Like, Kendrick be, you know what I'm saying? He the man, why he ain't dropping tracks like that? But now you see why. Because he needed some motivation. And Drake has been his motivation. Let's just call it what it is with that. Now, um, if we're going to talk about the track and the bars... Listen, man, Drake was Drake was spitting heavy on this last track. He basically, everything that Kendrick's saying, not everything, I don't believe, but he making it out to be like, look, everything that Kendrick's saying is make-believe. It's false. You can't just spit and not be having facts. Like, he's saying that, Drake's saying that he coming with facts with everything, and he's saying that Kendrick pretty much is making up fairy tales to try to win this battle. Now, the question I have for y'all is, in in this battlefield, when you when, when you go on the war with people um, on, on, on wax, in, in the battle rap world, do you have to be 100% accurate facts? or can Just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. And it be kind of fictional and sound good, like what Kendrick Lamar dropping. Cause I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, you know, it's his uh, last track, I, I, I even be dancing to it, I don't even dance, I, I be dancing to it, that's like one of the first diss tracks in a minute, other than like Wankster or something like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, where I'm, I'm actually dancing to it, like whatever, but at the same time, I can't really respect it as much if you're not giving me material that's real, like don't just go on a tangent about somebody basically saying that this person is this this person is that but in all in all you making this stuff up because now you, your credibility out the window it looked like okay you battling somebody that you don't got nothing on so you just gonna create stuff on them just to try to you know what i'm saying win the battle i don't think that's cool because if if drake listen if you ain't got no proof and, and you know what i'm saying drake really ain't no pedophile like Come on, you can't be just putting that type of stain on nobody's coat. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna do that, though? That's dirty, actually. That ain't even real because, you know what I'm saying, you can mess with somebody's whole career over a, a, a fake or a false claim. So I don't respect that. Now, if Drake making up his angles that he got, you know what I'm saying, I don't know. He's basically saying... You know, Kendrick was molested by his moms. Okay, so that's a dirty angle, just like what uh, Kendrick Lamar was doing. Those are both dirty angles to me. Like, y'all playing dirty right now. Dude, now that is not cool. I'm sorry, sorry. No. But in the sport of battle rap or whatever, you got to expect the unexpected. Once you start rapping and you start dissing somebody, you can't tell somebody what they can and can't say. It's like if you walk up to somebody and you, you know, you, you shoulder bump them when you walk by and that person decide, you know what, instead of me shoulder bumping them back, I'm about to throw a three piece at them real quick. Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder. <laughs> and knock them out. You can't say, well, come on, man. How you going to knock me out like that when all I did was just bump you on the shoulder? That's just not the way it goes. So I feel the same way with this. Like, you can't call Drake a pedophile and then, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the, on the back end be salty that he talking about you get got molested as a kid growing up by your moms. Now, that's crazy, to be honest with you. And it's kind of starting to get a little out of hand. But um, as you can all know, the fans, we want to see the drama anyway. That's what fans are for. They want to um, be entertained. 
So it's very it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. I do think they're going a little bit too far, though. But at the same time, I think this is the last this Drake dropping because you can kind of hear the sentiment in his last, um, you know, this last battle he just did, this last uh, song. He was basically like, I'm not even really about to be doing this with you no more. You know what I'm saying? Because he not about to keep going back and forth with somebody that's making up lies and not spitting facts. So he basically saying... He taking the, he's saying Kendrick Lamar taking away the fun out of the war because he's basically making up a bunch of stuff about him, which I can understand that in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't call it Drake cop and please. I would just call it Drake basically like, look, man, you know, I'm not about to keep going back and forth with somebody that's making up lies because all you doing is making the world, you know what I'm saying? The masses basically, they looking at it like, okay. Now they looking at Drake as a pedophile. That ain't no good look for nobody. And if it's made up, I don't want no parts of this no more because look, now now you got, you know, people out here thinking that I'm a, a pedophile. I could respect Drake just saying, you know, this is the last one. I'm about to state my piece. I'm about to let y'all know uh what what's really going on. He lying, he faking with it. And this is it for me until he start coming back with some truthful bars or, or bringing it hip hop, making it hip hop with some nice bars. If it ain't going to be that, then we might as well. I'm going to just shut my end down. Now, would I like to see this keep going on and on and on and on? Yeah, it's hip hop. But at some point, the battle has to stop. They not going to waste time for the rest of their careers battling each other every single day even though they probably making so much money that they probably lightweight want to do that for real to be honest with you because uh that's all people doing is tapping in with them right now you know everything else in the world seemed to stop since this little beef been going on but my opinion is um i think drake um evened it up with this last one he might be slightly winning because like he was actually talking and breaking down a lot of stuff and just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. To where you ain't have to do as much research, whereas with a lot of stuff with Kendrick, you got to do a lot of research to try to keep up with what he's talking about. You see what I'm saying? Like, Drake, he just put it all on the table. He letting everybody know, like, this dude, Kendrick, he's a fraud. You know, he's, he's lying. He's making up fake angles to try to win this battle, and that ain't cool. And Drake is basically saying he keeping it 100. He making the music. Um, off of facts that he got, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing just basically been put on his front desk and he just like, oh, this sounds good. This sounds like this a rock the room. Okay, let me go ahead and just do this. Now he basically taking his 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 approach is more so about facts and, and putting it out on the track and letting it do what it do. But it's factual. He ain't making nothing up about Kendrick. That's what I'm getting from this last battle, the energy I'm getting from this last battle. Uh, song by Drake And listen man It's hard to even keep blogging about this stuff It's so many different angles It's happening so fast You know what I'm saying So many people covering it It's basically like man listen If y'all gonna do this Do this right You know Kendrick You, you come in with some nice tracks Drake you come in with some nice tracks If y'all gonna keep it like that Keep it like that But bringing up fake angles Just to win battles I'm not really too into that i don't think that's cool i think that it take a lot of skill and ability to be able to just make a track without making stuff up about somebody i think that's different you know but maybe they've been doing this since way back in time i don't know because i wasn't there when when any of them diss tracks was happening back in the day hit them up you know what i'm saying ether um all of that i wasn't in I wasn't behind the scenes on them beefs, so I don't know if the stuff that they saying was true. Plus, I was young, so I don't really know if the stuff that they were saying was true or not. Same with this. I'm not behind the scenes. I don't know if this stuff's true or not, but what I do know is once you start calling someone a pedophile and, and, and things of that nature, that got to be true, man. You can't just be making that up unless... Unless, you know what I'm saying, you feel like, look, I don't care how I win, I'm just I'm just trying to win. Alright, it is battle rap. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying, it ain't no rules in battle rap. It's always been that way. You can say whatever you want to say on your mind. If it sound cold, you probably going to get props. You know what I'm saying, people probably going to respect it if it's cold. But other than that, man, 
I, I feel like Drake lightweight winning if, if what he's saying is true and Kendrick is fabricating bars to try to make it hot, then I got to go with Drake on this. Now, if, if, the, if, if it comes out in the future, which I really hope it doesn't because that would be crazy. I just do not want to hear no more pedophile, nothing that's dirty. I hate it. I can't respect it. If, if it turned out to be true about Drake, then, yeah, Kendrick won this by a landslide. In my opinion. But but other than that, like right now, I got to get this to Drake, man. Who y'all got winning so far? And answer that question when y'all get a chance. Is it okay to fabricate or make fake bars to try to win a battle? Y'all let me know what's happening. This your boy T-Main. Right back at it. Right back for another day of this Battle Rap 100. I'm gone, four shots of Patron, got me, got me in the zone Your girl keep asking me to fly, I'll leave me alone You need to mind your business